Hi everybody. I um I just wanted to make a quick little vlog before I come in to read. Sometimes I haven't talked very much during the day and it's hard to get my voice uh to do the reading for as long as I do because normally I don't talk that much when I am not on my video. So I wanted to very quickly so I thought I'd very quickly show you uh some cute little things that I picked up at Family Dollar today and some good little deals they had at Family Dollar today. I am in the middle of picking up canned goods for my husband's hunting trip. But while I was there, they had some good deals, so I'm going to show you very quickly some of those things I picked up for you. And my, my son came yesterday and helped my husband, but he didn't come today. And uh, he also helped me work in the yard a little bit, and uh, I was hoping he'd come back today and get some stuff done, but they're leaving the end of the week to go hunting for a few days, at least four or five days. And uh, so that affords me a few extra trips to Family Dollar. But anyway, very quickly, they have these on the uh, crates. Sorry about that. What was that about one minute? They had these on the clearance rack, and they are regular $2. They were marked down to $1.20. About three of them, and they've got like a little plaster shell in there, or whatever. It's, you know, it's like 3D. It looks kind of real. Got three of them. And I might stash these away for a gift for my dad for Christmas. I've got a few things I already stashed away. I don't know if we're going to do the second hand deal this year, but I didn't do that for my dad anyway, so it doesn't matter. Then they have this cute little thing. They had quite a few of these in different little, uh, little frame, family hold tightly to that which you cherish, and a little, uh, can candle holder and small candles, and it was marked down to a dollar eighty from three dollars. Like I said, they have a few styles of this, and they can go back and get a few more of them. Then, in the fall stuff, they have just about run out of fall decorations already. They've got a few of the Halloween decorations up, but fall stuff is uh, slim to none there now. They still have this cute little uh, owl um, votive dish. I'm going to put that on my buffet probably. This this week I'm going to get all of my Halloween, um, uh, autumn decorations up, not Halloween, but all my autumn stuff up, and I want to show you guys all around. And they got, and, and I got these, these are dollar box, the uh, votives and the tea lights, eight tea lights or four votives for dollars, super cheap. And I buy them by the gazillions there. I just thought that was a cute little thing. Oh, and here's two dollars. The reason I really like to buy this kind of stuff is because it goes really good at my yard sales. Later on, you know, I use it a few times and then, uh, or a season or two. And then they end up in my yard sale, and I usually almost get what I paid for them when I bought them. Now, I stepped over to the girly spot because I wanted to get some more nails. They were out of my nails. This is the nails I usually use. Um, only use the long ones, and these are the medium. Uh, but I like them because they already have the uh, French manicure painted in. And then I can just decorate that, you know, and have a nice French line and not have to do with the mess of the very rarely do I do a French manicure. These are, uh, these were actually over on the, uh, they must have been a little bit older. They were already over on the clearance side for $1.20, and they're $3 in the, and I picked up something I've been wanting for such a long time. These are some more of those polished decals, but this particular one I've wanted for a very long time, and I'm anxious to see, looks like black lace. I'm anxious to see what that is going to look like on one or two accent nails. Probably will do that tonight, but that is going to be my Halloween manicure for sure. Black nails with this lace. I'm going to be a Victorian witch. <coughs> then, for my eye, eyeshadow lovers in the group, they have... I already started putting out a lot of Christmas stuff and a lot of Christmas gift ideas. And they had a display already of these eyeshadows. And these were a dollar a piece. And it says that they're 24 millimeters each little pot. So I don't know how much that really holds in there. 
and you can't really see the gorgeous colors. This is the prettiest green here, and then this light green next to it, and then this uh, beautiful pearly, pearly color here, and then this chocolate glittery color. This yellow is really pretty, but I only picked up, they have five different color sets, but I only picked up the two that had the pretty greens in them uh, for autumn because I have a lot of eyeshadows, as you all well know. But these were only a dollar a piece. And those are great little stocking stuffers or just a nice little gift. You pick up a couple of those. They also had 50 color or 40 color palette for five dollars. Nice size, 40 beautiful colors in it. I mean, I ever one of them pretty, and of course, I may have to go back and get that because it's kind of neat and it's probably not going to be around for long. This is a brand I've never heard of, Modessa, but I, or maybe I have seen, maybe got one thing of that brand before I'm thinking. Maybe like some lip stuff. Anyway, I got the piece on those. And then I also got uh, the Clear Basics uh, body washes are on top for one dollar. And I got the that cucumber melon and I also got a vanilla one. And uh, so I had a nice little haul over there for about one, uh, one, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight. Nine, ten for about ten dollars. A nice little shopping spree, the little happy maker shopping spree. So that's about it. I am gonna get back in and get uh, at least chapter 19 and 20 read tonight. Um, on the To Kill Mockingbird, thank you for everybody, Miss Sharla and Tucker Zone and Angie Lupus Life, and anybody else who is listening faithfully. And I know you are because there's about uh, 15 or 16. Uh, regular views on each one of, of those videos, so I'm glad that that many people are enjoying listening to Kill Mockingbird. I um, watched some clips from To Kill Mockingbird, Mayala's uh, testimony yesterday, and I certainly didn't get as excited about Mayala's testimony as she did, but I still feel like, uh, you know, I'm enjoying the book, and I sure, sure hope that you guys are too, and like I said, I'm not really a dramatic reader, but I, uh, you know, I'm enjoying reading it. And I hope you guys are uh, getting getting something out of it, too. So, anyway, that's about it. Getting the old man ready for hunting. Been doing a little bit of organizing. Quite a bit of organizing. I did what I organized. Oh, and I was going to do the um, my desk set tonight. I may do another one of those. Like I did the recycled items for my um, jewelry, which has grown somewhat. And... Uh, and then I wanted to do the desk set, so I might I might do this whole little desk area in here um, and make it real cute. I have some good ideas and some cute little leopard print stuff. Oh, and, then, and another little project that I did with duct tape that I want to show you guys. So I'll probably be back a little bit later with that. If not, I'll get to it tomorrow. But um, over the next few days, while the old man is gone, there will probably be a plethora of videos because I am going to be very busy doing projects and cooking and organizing and all the stuff that he hates for me to do when he's around. So anyway, be blessed. I love you all. And I will be back very shortly with Chapter 19 of To Kill Mockingbird. Alright, talk to you very soon. Bye-bye.